Hello and welcome to the Android Forums YouTube channel. This is your friendly neighborhood admin again, Night Angel, coming to you with all the accessories for the new Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus that I could get my hands on. We're going to call this an unboxing, however, I'm not going to literally sit here and make you guys watch me unbox every one of these because, let's face it, we've all opened a box before. All right, so first up is the Samsung wireless battery pack. Uh, brand new, just came out with the launch of the S20 line. Supports up to 25 watts, super fast charging. And I've been wanting a charger that does any sort of fast charge. Not to mention 25 watt is the phone's limit and pretty darn fast. Now it only does 7.5 watt wireless charging, which this day and age is acceptable. I would have preferred 10 watt, but Beggars can't be choosers, especially with it being portable. It does say it's compatible with Galaxy and iPhone, which seems like a marketing thing to say because it is also compatible with any other wireless charging phone. And the Pixel 4 will wirelessly charge up to 7.5 watt. The Pixel 3, I believe, is only compatible up to 5 watt on other devices. All right, we got a new wall charger, 61 watt USB mini. It is just the one port. Just wanted to try something a little bit stronger since I didn't have to keep worrying about extra battery packs because uh, we just have the one Samsung official wall plug. This is not very sexy, if you will, but this is a two port RAV Power 48 watt car charger with the power delivery port being 30 watt which is more than you would need, power other devices as well. And the USB port that will power up to 18 watt, which is still blinding fast. So there's the ports on that, nice little carbon fiber finish. I'm gonna use that in the car. All right, next up, we have a two pack fast wireless charger stand from Senio. Uh, does 10 watt fast charging for Samsung. It is a 10. It does say it's 15 watt compatible. Uh, no phone, to my knowledge, did up to 15 watt until the new Samsung phone. So I suppose that's why it says it like that. This one we will unbox because I'm interested to see what it looks like. Apologies for the weird angles. The first time I'm trying the top down camera mounts, so results may vary. All right, I don't need to manual all that. And as typical with a lot of, especially here lately with some of the Amazon products, you get a cable, no wall plug. So items like this, more important than ever. Now it doesn't need to be a 61 watt. However, it doesn't hurt. These appear to be three foot but yep, that's three foot. Get those out of the way and let's get one of these out of the plastic. All right, so I don't know how well this shows up on the black table. I should have got a white background, but you know, it's uh doesn't feel flimsy. It's not super solid and premium feeling, but I wasn't expecting that. This was, I believe, $12 on Amazon, and I'm going to throw links in the description below for all of these items. We'll leave that one in the plastic again. I don't want to take up all your time. All right, this is another Chotec product that I've not heard of, very well reviewed on Amazon. This is a glass wireless charging pad, 15 watt. I already have one of these I'm using with the wife's Pixel 4 XL. It works very well have no issues with it charging through cases, which is something I've ran into with other ones. Just to give you an idea, we're gonna pop this guy out. You get a nice little screen protector for the actual charger, and you'll understand why in just a second. Now this is solid and heavy. This has heft to it. And to be honest, never heard of the brand before I bought this couple of weeks ago for the wife, but this looks and feels absolutely premium. And this does come with its own wall charger and cable, which is nice to see, especially in this day and age. 
Item number five. I got a fast wireless charging car dock. It does 10 watt wireless charging, which is nice. I'm not a big car dock fan, but if I'm gonna try one out, it would be this one because it was cheap. I want to say it was $25. And I want to say it's pretty feature packed, but let's face it, there's not a lot of features. If you're interested in more content or more thoughts about this, let me know. There'll be a link in the description to this product and links to threads in Android forums where we talk and maybe dive in a little bit more to all of these. This is the Samsung wireless charger stand, 15 watt with fan cooling that it was a few bucks more. I'll pop the price up on the screen, but it's Samsung and it's been out for a while. So this was has been available on Amazon for, to be honest, probably at least since the Note 10 came out. Uh, because if I had to guess, it's the first device that supported 15 watt fast charge. This we will unbox and we'll just cut right to it being unboxed. All right, that was quicker than I expected. And we'll see here. You can already tell just by looking at it, and hopefully it shows up on the camera, that this is thicker. Like it just looks and feels solid. Now there's plastic on it. It's a little bit slippery. That's what I was just looking at there. Now it doesn't have necessarily a premium look. I hesitate to call it cheap looking, but it's definitely more to it. And of course it's thicker here because it's got the fan, which is nice if you're doing 15 watt wireless. It's devices can and will get warm. Comes with a wall plug, it should too, because it, uh, this was priced a bit more than some of the other items. Ah, super fast charging. So if I had to guess, this is also gonna be 25 watt. It'd be nice again if it just said 25 watt. Cable here, again, Hard to eyeball at probably three foot like everything else. Now I get some of the companies cheaping out and not sending wall plugs with their devices. Uh, it's just not a practice I'm a fan of. That's that. Pretty nice. Again, for more of my thoughts on this and everything else we've seen, check out the forums. But for now, we will move on. All right. Our main events, if you will, are the three cases I got. So first we went Spigen, one of my favorite brands. This is the Liquid Air. And I'm pretty sure this is the clear one. I'm a liar. It's not the clear one. I got the matte black for this. It's got a nice texture to it. It's pretty soft. I can see me going with something slim like this. I don't like the big bulky things. And now we have, we went Samsung official case. These are linked on their site. They have several cases and they got some good options. They're all a little overpriced it seems, but I went with the leather one. I'm not sure if this is worth what they're asking, but I am curious to see how it looks and feels. Instructions for how to put your phone in a case. It's always helpful. Initial thoughts. This is a nice, almost suede feeling material on the inside. And then we got the nice soft touch leather on the out. The buttons on the side feel nice. So yeah, interested in this. I don't know if this is gonna end up being too slick with the phone in it, but we'll see. All right, last but not least, and we do have another case coming from MNML, which is a brand I've not heard of, but apparently make good stuff. But we went with the Total E, I believe I'm saying that correct, case. I uh, found some promo codes for them, which I'll share in the description below. I believe I got 20% off of this. Seems like a good brand, it's California based, two year warranty, slim and minimal phone case. Now this one, I'm pretty sure I got the clear. Oh yeah. And this is super clear. The material in here has got got some texture to it so it doesn't feel like anything would slide that much although you are ridged all the way around so it's like the phone's gonna fall out so here's everything we just talked about we didn't unbox everything obviously because quite frankly some of it would be boring but I did want to give a quick overview of the things that we have on hand that I'm going to be testing specifically with the Samsung Galaxy S20 plus this guy right there 
So be expecting more to come for that. If there's anything particular that you want to hear more about, let me know in the comments or in the thread linked at Android Forums. If there's something that we don't have here that you'd like to see covered, please let us know. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you next time.